Welcome back, folks. Now, patch 9.19.1 just came out, and with every new patch, there are hidden vehicles added to the main directory files, the res folder, but they are not available to the public yet. So let's do what we usually do, data mine, and let's take a look. But before we get started, some of you guys who are new to the channel are questioning that why don't I go over vehicles they see a glance of while I was browsing through the tech tree. For example, they see the thumbnail of the M48 Patton Hybrid with the T54E2's turret and the T123E6 120mm. Well, this is not exactly a new tank. It may be new to you, but this tank has been added in the res folder for about two years now. So, already made videos about this tank. It's not exactly a new tank, but it's never been released. Yeah, so it's a new tank, but it's not really new to me. So welcome to my channel. I do leaked videos about new tanks and new contents. So self plug, self plug. But let's take a look at the new tanks added in patch 9.19.1. So with this patch, we have the Tiger 217. This is Autocarius Tiger Osp E, I believe. But stats wise, it's the same as the Tiger 131 or the Japanese Tiger 1, the heavy tank number 6. So you do have the Duncan Glib, which is the yellow paint, but you also have the Zimmeret, which is the anti magnetic coating of the paint, so it prevents mines to stick onto the hull. But stats wise, it's the same as the Tiger 131. So it looks pretty nice. If you're a Tiger fan, you probably will get this thing. But yeah, it's the same stats as the Tiger 131. So both of them are at tier 6. Same goes for the Japanese Tiger 1. But for the Tiger 131, that's German. For this vehicle, it's German. So two clone tanks, actually three clone tanks at tier 6, but two for the German. <laughs> It is a hero tank. It is a very specific tank, like the Tiger 131, like the Abrams Sherman Thunderbolt, Sherman EZ8, Thunderbolt 7. But the stats is the same as the Tiger 131. So the only difference is the outer skin. So would you prefer the Tiger 131, or would you prefer the 217, or would you rather have two tanks, two same tanks to train your crew? So basically, like the T34. Or the T-34 black. Or IS-6 with the IS-6 black. <laughs> it's a better looking skin than the black skin, for sure, but... Okay. <laughs> but here is the stats comparison. Already talked about the stats. Already talked about the collision model from the common test server. So already made videos about this stuff, but... Check out my channel for the other stuff. Self-plug, self-plug. No need to talk about that, but... Quick overview. The stats are basically the same, basically. But what is special about the Tiger 217 compared to the 131 or the Japanese Tiger 1 is that the 131 has a camo bonus. So you cannot paint over the Tiger 131 with special camo bought from the credits or gold. But for this vehicle, the 217, you can actually paint over this thing with other paint next to the Duncan Glib, the yellow paint, the yellow paint. So basically painting over with the yellow coating. So meshing up the yellow with basically other colors. That's interesting, but other than that, the stats are the same. <laughs> so, all right, I guess that's okay, I guess. But weight is 0 0.02, so. <laughs> Stats is the same. So let's take a look at the Poodle Polish Captured Panther Tank. So this is the new Polish tank everybody's craving about. But it's the same stat as the VK3002M, the prototype Panther. So you can read the description, pause the video. But this was captured by the Polish during the uprising. So they paint over the Duncan Gleb or the Zimmeret as well with the Polish flag and the Poodle 
signature. So, Osf G of the Panther tank, but it's the same stat as the VK3002M. It looks almost the same, other than the skin. So, rehash, I guess. I mean, I like the Panthers, I like the Tiger tanks. They're classic, so I don't know, but this is for the Polish, so... I mean, it's the same tier. But the Japanese Tiger 1, you have a different tier vehicle than the normal tier 7 Tiger 1. So you have a Tiger at tier 6 compared to a Tiger at tier 7. But this vehicle is the same as the VK3002M, which is at tier 6. This is not at tier 7 or at tier 5. So... Nah. But you can take a look at the stats comparison, but we'll do the comparison right now. So... Let's compare this to the VK3002M before the Panther. There it is. So stats wise, uh, standard, not standard for the VK. It's a normal tank. Apply. So here you can see, same 75 millimeter, same reload speed and accuracy and all the other good stuff. It has slightly better side armor by 10 millimeter, so it's a little bit thicker at the sides and better for side scraping but it weighs a little bit more because of the side armor so horse power return ratio is not as good but hey eh, eh, not, uh, still not that much difference right so that's the poodle for ya already talked about this vehicle from the stats already talked about the stats but vehicle wise it's a panther tank, so it looks pretty nice. German engineering at the finest, so why not? But hey, it's a poodle. Does missing the machine gun, likely the MG34 or the commander, but hey, they properly stripped it from the capturing of the vehicle. Oh well, but let's take a look at the French AMX cannon assault, 105 millimeter. So this is the premium tier 8 French tank destroyer, basically the non-siege mode S tank. So if you get pissed off at the siege mode, play with this vehicle. It has less DPM than the S tank, but it's a little bit more maneuverable without the siege mode. So that's the trade-off. Same 105 with high penetration. Eh, high penetration, quote unquote. Not as high as the 288 or 87, but hey. Still pretty decent than the 230, 240 for some of the other tank destroyers. So pretty good accuracy, fast aim time, alright DPM, 2000, so whatever. But we already took a look at the stats, already took a look at the collision model, so nothing to really talk about. It does have gun depression, I remember this thing. It has the gun depression to go haul down, but it does have the gigantic cupola for the commander, so hmm. Still not a bad looking tank though. Not bad. It's just the tumor. Just get rid of this tumor, but eh. A lot of vehicles have tumor that ruins the vehicle. Makes it look stupid. <laughs> well, in like 59 patents case, it looks even more stupid. So, eh, what I what could I do? But eh, French design, so sneaky tank destroyer. Has relatively decent frontal slope armor. So this is 70, I believe. This is 100 from my memory, but you could bounce a few shots if you haul down and up slope the upper sloped armor even more. So, eh. If you don't like the S tank, play with this vehicle. If you don't like tank destroyers, buy, the me buy a medium or a heavy, but eh, all good fun. And let's take a look at the last vehicle featured in this patch, and that is the STG. So the medium tank by Grimyakina, right here. There are a lot of Russian premium tier 8 vehicles. It's across the line of the tech tree, holy crap. So this is basically designed from the object 416 and the K91. So basically using the rear mounted turret 
as for a medium tank, but me and my big mouth, they buffed this vehicle with a turret armor. So if you're old to the channel, if you have been watching my videos for a long time, you probably know that the initial stats of this vehicle has the turret armor at 120 at the front. It's about the same as the Object 416, but now they buff it to 210. So me and my big mouth. <laughs> the hull armor is still pretty garbo, about 100 millimeter at the front, so you'll pin the hull, but it's like the Object 430 version number 2 with a pretty tough turret than the Object 416 with a pretty crappy frying pan of a turret, so yep. Uh, it does have the KPV large ass machine gun. That's the KPV, right? That's the KPV. So that's the 14.5 millimeter large caliber machine gun. Russian designed for all the goodness of destroying stuff, but has 122. DPM is slightly below average at about 1700. I remember the stats, but again, already talked about the stats, already talked about the collision model, so blah 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 blah. So plug. So, not talk about that, but looks pretty nice. It's relatively small too, like really flat. But artillery shell hitting this area, engine fire, very likely. Somebody said that the driver is located here. So all the crew is in this turret, basically meaning that that should be the commander. Wait, that should be the commander. Pretty odd. The commander is usually Oh well, oh for the Russian tank it's on the other side, my mistake. So that's the commander, that's the driver, that should be the loader, and the gunner should be right here. Uh, internal vehicle layout. Yeah, I think that's right. Hmm. Based on the T-62A, so uh, Russian design. But hey, Russians drive on the wrong side of the vehicle. <laughs> The drive on the right side of the vehicle should be on the left compared to the T-3485 series. But hey, oh well. So there you go folks, all the new vehicles adding this patch. But let's quickly browse through the tech trees. So Russian tanks, a bunch of tier A premiums <laughs> across the board. Also, they're going to add a T-44 lightweight in the super test server so if you don't follow the forums i've posted the initial stats of the t44 lightweight it's going to be a premium tier 8 russian light tank hilarious it's a little bit better than the lttb currently so yeah all right but that's the only new tank added in this super test server version or iteration but there's a lot of tier a russian premiums <laughs> A lot across the board, Jesus, and tier 10 as well. A lot of tier 8 is uh, at the bottom. For the Germans, we have decent sizable chunk of tier 8, but not as much as the Russians. So, yeah, no new German tank in this patch. American tanks, nothing new. Yeah, nothing new. Oh well, they nerfed the Sherman EZ-8 armor, already talked about that, but with the HD remodel of the Sherman EZ-8, it's weaker for the lower glazes. So, oh well, no British tank. A lot of you guys has been asking me about the Chieftain, so wondering if the Chieftain will show up. It's been like two years, guys. <laughs> two plus years, two and a half years, holy crap. So this vehicle was in the res folder before the FV-304, FE-304, FE 4202 switch, before the FE-4202 switch with the Action X Centurion. That was a long time ago. So this vehicle was in the res folder for about two years now. They're probably not going to implement this thing, mostly, mostly because 85 millimeters of frontal hull armor and for the beak It's still 85. I mean if you buff the beak armor to like 200 millimeter It's a pass from me, but 
the big armor is still 85. Even though the upper plate is well sloped, you could bounce a few shots from the upper plate. It's not auto pin, so you cannot overmatch the upper plate. But the big armor right here, that's 85. <laughs> so you will get pinned. But maybe with the artillery nerf now, they could release this vehicle. Like how they did with the WZ-111 5A. Maybe this could be released as a alternative option to the Conqueror, but talking about the Conqueror, where's the Super Conqueror that he showed during Wargaming Fest of last year with the space, with the spaced armor for the turret and the hull, the space, the space spaced armor. So bleh. but yeah, this vehicle has been in the game files for a long time, longer than the FE4202 Switch. So, saying a lot about this tank, but for the French AMX Cannon Assault, the Samoa SM has been added for about 6 months now, no, for about 10 months now. So I talked about this vehicle last October, so it's about 10 months. Holy crap, time flies. No new check tanks, <laughs> it's been like 2 years funny or a year and a half Japanese vehicles nothing new so we don't get the otherwise or nameless tank these are staying on the Asian server so okay Chinese vehicles now it's a little bit interesting for the Chinese vehicles they're getting the whole new tech tree for the tank destroyers on the 18th of this month but we don't have all the stats so this is only a script file showing you that there's a whole new tech tree of Chinese tank destroyers but you can click on these things they're not complete so they don't have the upgraded guns the elite equipment or modules for all the vehicles so these are only scripts so they're not complete so don't take these two or take the vehicles into account so they don't exist for our server but the Russian servers are currently wanting of this tech tree for all the servers. So we may see these tanks, but yeah, we don't have them right now. So, all right, Polish tank, the portal. Yep. And for the Swedish vehicles, we also have the STRV-81 collecting dust. So basically the Swedish Centurion Mark III, they overly buffed the hell out of the hell out of so buffing the engine power to tremendous amount buffing the turret armor to 254 <laughs> yeah I already talked about this tank but did they change the no they didn't change the hull plates so it's always been like that the normal centurion has two plates of spare track links for the upper plate so yep Swedish centurion mark 3 so there you go folks, the new vehicles added in patch 9.19.1, so we might see the biggest overhaul or uh, biggest buffs and nerfs in patch 9.20. So there's going to be new model for the M48 pattern with the Erden Israeli cupola replacing the M1 cupola and a buff for those vehicles for the M46 pattern and M48 pattern. There is going to be a lot of changes for other tanks like the IS-7, the T-54s, T-44s, a whole bunch of stuff for the AMX-30 series, for the Batchat. Ugh. So we'll see, but that's the new vehicles in this patch. So I'll talk about all the other stuff. I'll talk about all the buffs and other stuff when the evidence are more concrete and with the data mining of the data more concrete. So. We'll get to it when we have enough evidence or details. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Kind of blah 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 yammer yeah, on. That's my linguistic skill. So I don't have any. English is hard. <laughs> Can't talk. But thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.